Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more session uh, in operating system that is a uh, SSTF disk scheduling algorithm that is a uh, shortest seek time first. So in our previous session, we have seen the introduction to disk scheduling algorithms and in that we have seen what are the key terms we have to concentrate and then we have seen uh, one disk scheduling algorithm that is FCFS which is a first come first serve. So where we have seen the advantage there is no starvation and also there is a disadvantage so more seek time to move the head from one request to another request so in order to avoid the disadvantage so we are moving towards the second one that is the shortest seek time first so here we are taking the same example so disk tracks with 0 to 199 so totally 200 uh, tracks and the current head position is at 100 and the request to queue is also same 55 58 39 18 90 160 150 38 and 184 but here so whatever the order the request is being processed so uh, we are not following that order so reordering will be done here so based upon the current head position the nearest the nearest request will be processed first so nearest request to current head position will be processed first will be processed first and also okay so less seek time less seek time okay less seek time and there is a one drawback here in this process there might be a chance of getting the starvation okay so might have a starvation problem so that means reordering will be done so the same order the pro the request will not be processed okay now let us see uh, the same thing graph we are representing it in a graph so x axis we are taking the request so total 10 requests uh, including the current head position so we are considering that as a first request okay and the y axis the z track numbers track numbers so let us see how it can be implemented so first the current position is at 100 so r1 is at 100 now instead of uh, getting 55 because 55 is the first request okay so we uh, the head position will not be moved towards the 55 so first it will check so the request which is close to the 100 okay it doesn't follow the order but it will follow the nearest track to the current head position so now it is at 100 what is the request which is near to 100 so it is 90 so the second request will be 90 second request will be 90 and now the third request the third request will be closer to 90 which one is a closer to 90 so i think it's 90 minus 160 or 90 minus 150 it is around 60 and 90 minus 58 it is around 32 so 58 will be processed first okay so i hope you understood the nearest track to the current head position the current head position is at 90 so which is the nearest track so here it is a 150 so the difference is 60 positions and if we, if we take if you consider the second request 58 the difference is around 32 so this will be the nearest to 90 so the next will be 58 so r3 the request 3 the head position will be moving towards the 98 and 58 now the nearest position to 58 what is the nearest position to 58 so nearest position to 58 is 55 so request 4 is at 55 55 now what is the nearest position to 55 so 55 it will be 39 itself right so next one is a 39 it's a request 5 is a 39 so next 38 obviously the next request will be 38 itself 38 so next next request that means which is close to 38 so which one is the closest to 38 38 it is 18 right 
so it moves to 18 now from 18 what is the next request obviously 150 okay only three requests are there 160 150 and 184 the nearest request is at 150 so the r80 will be at 150 Next one, 160. Next one is 184. Now you can uh, so this is the graph how the requests are being processed. So only one thing so here in this case from the current head position the next request will be processed which is closer to the current head position okay so here we can uh, observe the seek time the first one is at 100 so the next closer to 100 is at 90 so the difference is 10 and now the position is at 90 the next request is at uh, here it is yes 190 and uh, request 3 just wait 100 and it's 90 and from 90 it's around 55 itself okay so 55 so which is around the uh, sorry 58 58 yes uh, I think here we have to write down okay this one not this one this is a 58 okay yes imagine okay 58 that is a 32 the difference is 32 and from 58 what is the nearest position which is a 55 so which is around uh, only three difference from 55 the next one is 39 so which is around uh, 16 and from 39 38 which is only one and from 38 it is 18 which is a 20 and from 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 18 it moves to 150 so which is around 132 from 150 it moves to 160 which is only 10 from 160 it moves to 184 which is 24 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes. So, this is the seek time. This is the seek time. Now, you can see what is the seek time is equal to 10 plus 32 plus 3 plus 16 plus 1 plus 20 plus 132 plus 10 plus 24. So, which is around 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 6, uh, 13, 13 plus 3, 16, 18. So, 8, 1 plus 2, 3, 4, 7, 9, 10, 13, 14, 4, 1. 1 plus 1, it's 2. So, it is around 248. So, if you process the same kind of request in FCFS, in our previous session, you can see the seek time is almost more than 400. But here you can see it is only 248. So automatically the seek time has been reduced. So the movement of read write head is already reduced. Okay. So don't forget, I mean, don't bother about the graph. So you can observe the uh, move, movement of read write heads. Okay. The movement of read write heads will be less when compared to the uh, first come first. Okay. And see here one problem is a starvation. We are saying the my uh, I mean this process may have the starvation problem for example if you are processing the request at 90 and if the request a new request comes with a some 85 so obviously the next request process will be the 85 
Similarly, if you are processing the request 85, the new request comes with the 80, again it moves to the 80. And if the next process it, we got, uh, which is near to 80, that is 60, then it moves to 60. So what about this 184, when it will be executed, when, it'll be, when it will be processed? So in such cases we can have, we may have this starvation problem. So if, if during processing these requests, if the new request comes with an, which is closer to the current date position, those requests will be get processed and this request will be keep on waiting for processing. So this is a problem in this shortest seek time first but so where we are just following the nearest head position uh, to process the request the seek time will be very less when compared to the first come first serve approach okay so, so that's why we are saying reordering is done here reordering so this is the not order we are following so it will be reordered based upon the uh, shortest distance or nearer to the current head positions okay so here the positions we will see uh, first 100 100 will be processing the next position will be at uh, 90 the next position will be at 58 and next position will be at 55 next position will be at uh, 39 next position will be at 38 next position will be at 18 next position will be at 150 next position it will be at 160 and next to last it is 84 if there is no request occurs during the processing these requests if any request occurs in between this one automatically this order will be changed okay so that may lead to the starvation starvation so 100 90 58 55 39 38 and 18 150 160 and 184 right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section i definitely will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much